Okay, the recording is in progress, and now we're going to go online to Facebook. There we go. Now we're being live streamed on Facebook, and we're being recorded, and all is working well. Hi, everybody. How are you? I, I should look into the camera. Actually, my friend uh, 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 Albert calls this show every now and then, actually takes his... Uh, camera and puts it in the center of his screen which would kind of obstruct my view but uh uh that's not a bad idea because see this way i'm looking up at you okay because my camera is up here but if i were to look in the middle of the screen it would look like i was looking directly at you right i guess i don't know anyway hi how are you it's our pop-up show it's a little lovely show we like to do uh uh every uh, every week at this time and uh, we enjoy having you here and uh ooh, what was that a little glitch hmm. i hope we don't have that otherwise i'll have to go to other cameras but anyway oh every boy a ton of people waiting to get on here let me make sure they're all they look legitimate okay they do and uh so if i uh admit them all here we go admit all here we go there's me and then there's mandy o'brien's coming in and marjorie miller and uh charlene solis and charlie wallace and uh, brian neary and uh, uh and lafrisco and uh paula 11 hello paula and, hello alex and her, her sister paula 12. Uh, there we go <laughs> Every time I say Paul 11, I think Paul 11. <laughs> Actually, I should tell you that Levin is a New York pronunciation. Philadelphia pronunciation is Levin. Levin. Ooh, mm -hmm. like Mar okay. Paula, how do we pronounce S-H-A-P-I-R-O? Uh, we pronounce it Shapiro because we knew Judy you. Shapiro. Yeah. Thank but, you. But you, you hear a lot of, of Shapiro. Yeah. Shapiro, Shapiro I, I, we that. went into what, what's the place in Shapiro? Fine and Shapiro. Fine and Shapiro. And Fine I, and Shapiro. We walked in there, we're sitting there, and I'm saying, How do you pronounce the last name of this place? And they said Shapiro. They're New Yorkers. What do they know? Well, <laughs> you're in New York now. It's Shapiro. When in Rome. When in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's in this his room in Chicago too. Is that your kitchen or the company's kitchen? My kitchen. Your kitchen. Very the, nice. The, actually, it's the bank's kitchen. <laughs> it's, nice. It's the bank's kitchen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, because <laughs> I can't just sell it and you know get all the money. So bank bank wants some of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a very nice kitchen. Would you like you like that kitchen, Marjorie? Jesus. I can't see it. I just see Brian. Let's, let's see a little bit. Ah, very nice. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, there you got your little yeah, island yeah. and everything. Just had, it, just had it redone like a year ago. So, mm -hmm. oh, wow. Son of a gun. What kind of stove do you have? <laughs> um, you lean, I think. You lean. I don't know. Yeah. One of those big ones. A hot one. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, boy. So, hello, Mandy. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are y'all? Yeah. How how y'all doing down there in Georgia? We're good. I went to the fair this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the fair this weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> Livestock shows and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, it was a was it fun? I guess it was fun. It was pretty fun. A lot of good people watching, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my watch says it's going to rain soon. Wait, wait. <laughs> Again? Huh? Yeah. It says, Again? It says it's going to rain soon. So uh, anyway, uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, Len, how's everything where you are? Good. Yeah. Just uh, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's nice. The weather's getting hot this week, going up into the 90s and, you know, uh, just hanging out. We're, we're down in the 50s here yeah yeah I, I miss the east coast weather sometimes i don't miss the humidity but uh, i love it out here my new wife york, eats it my wife new york it. knows how to how to uh, how, to, how to do humidity yeah you, you do you know and then this year they're saying you're going to get snow where last year you didn't so they we'll say see. we're going to get 
deep snow. Yeah. No, they say it's going to be cold. They didn't say snow. No, they said a lot of snow, too. I saw that yesterday. Yeah, I read that, too. Yeah. Marjorie thinks she's the weather forecaster. <laughs> well, she's got <laughs> bones that ache for certain different kinds of weather, right? True. Yeah, That's but her bones start aching, aching at 90 degrees. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She wakes up every morning and she says to me, my back's killing me. And I go, how is this? This is almost like, like a Jewish question. How is this morning different from all other mornings? <laughs> you know? Uh, but she she's always, because she's always got a backache. So I can't tell. When my back aches, then, you know, it's, you know, it's cold weather out there. It's going to rain. Uh, but as you get older, right, Paula, you, you've got some aching bones, right? No, I wouldn't know, really. <laughs> <laughs> you see? But you go to Mandy. Mandy, do you do your bones ache a lot from the weather? No, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. Yeah, just get yeah. ready for it. You know, it'll happen. Hey, I'm, I'm usually just sore from working out all the time. Uh, oh really oh that's i just stay sore from mats i don't you, know if you feel sore from being healthy i see i i try to i try to justify saying it's from that but i could just be sore in general but i say oh it's just from that it's that's what that. i do yeah yeah do you work how much you work out i try to five days a week really for how long an hour hour an and a half oh, hour and a half it depends. Your Facebook posts. <laughs> yeah, a couple of the times is when I do and I'm leading a class, but then I try to go to the other people's classes just because to support them and just because I do have a membership. So. Oh, you lead a class. Mm -hmm. Wow, I I have more respect for you than I had before this call started. Hey. You know that I respect that. Marjorie sure. doesn't work out anymore. She doesn't need to. What do you mean? Well, she <laughs> he's very he has a good figure. She just needs to walk yeah. just to stay, you know. Walking, you. I walking, walking, I do. Walking, walking, walking. She does. Walking is something I can't do that well anymore. I just walked up to the post office, and it was kind of like, yeah, because because block everybody. Oh, no, part of it is I'm afraid I'm going to fall. Are you using your cane? Also the post I'm not office using the cane. What? The post office is only a half a block. I know, but I could fall between here and there. Have a little sympathy for me. <laughs> here comes the Letterman podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, how you doing, Charlie? Um, ragweed is eating my lunch. Oh, oh man. Really? Oh, it's so bad. Oh. I thought it was just living in Texas. <laughs> that too. <laughs> you know? Uh, what does your t-shirt say today? You matter. Unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light twice, and then <laughs> you energy. <laughs> you energy. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> he has the greatest scientific, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, T-shirts. Incredible. Uh, and uh, Charlene Solis, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I was just going to complain that Brian's kitchen is bigger than my whole place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, uh, the thing is that, uh, yeah. What was I going to say? I had something I wanted to say. But, oh, yeah. Jeff isn't here today. Uh, he's going to be here all week because they're going to Portugal. Oh. They call oh. and let us know. That's the nice part about it. it. I like how people feel compelled to write me when they can't, you know, get on the <laughs> I do, too. It's, it's a thing. We're supposed to be here. And look who's yeah. driving. Mike is driving. That looks like a Bronco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're we have to see between the steering wheel here. He's on mute. So there you go. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm not muted now. Sorry about that. My camera, my USB or the the micro HDMI for my camera 
just bit it. So I'm on my way to the camera store because I have three podcasts to do this week. So that's where I'm going right now. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, your camera went bad on you. What happened? No, it was the, uh, I don't know if you use any of these little micro um, HDMI cables, but they are just brutal. They break so easily. Well, those are the uh, USB-C. That's right. Yeah. The little guys. Yeah, the little guys. The new ones that are mandated by law, by the way. Like Yeah. yeah. Apple, oh, it's Apple the has... HDMI. It's it's actually the HDMI, oh, though. HDMI. It's, not the, it's not the USB. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Does anyone know what he's uh, talking about? No, not at all. Me. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> it's the HDMI that goes into sometimes the USB. Yeah. Is is, is uh, the way in which you get a lot of RGB. Yeah, yeah. Well, you need the new OU SOB connector too. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Yeah, you guys stop talking dirty. What's your <laughs> exactly? Thank you, Paula. How's everything up in Canada? Uh, it's going good. Things are returning back to normal a little bit now uh, since we got back from New York. And uh, yeah, no, things are, we went through Thanksgiving. It was beautiful. It was lovely. Oh, wait and, a minute. Let me, yeah, just, just, let me just, just mention that to people. that Up in Canada, they have their Thanksgiving when? Uh, usually it's the first Monday of October. The first Monday of October. It's kind of like they want to beat us out on a Lars, you know. <laughs> uh, early harvest, as Paul used to say. Early harvest is it based on harvest? Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that's what the the whole thing is the bounty of the yeah of the crop yield for the year, right? Isn't that yeah. the reason why it happens? Right, and I understand that up in Canada they don't uh, do turkey. the The traditional dish for uh, Thanksgiving is dog. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. No, no, we like our turkeys. And uh, my uh, my son, my stepson, he uh, he got a smoker a couple years ago. And so ever since he got a smoker, we have not had a turkey that wasn't smoked. It's the best. Oh, my God, is it ever amazing. It's the most juicy, succulent, flavorful. You, you want to know how to lovely. do the best smoked turkey? Tobacco. Yes, sir. Tobacco. Seriously? Oh, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think In so. fact, you don't even have to kill the turkey. It kills uh, the there's turkey. A, oh, Alex. No, 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 no. There's a tobacco chip. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter. I, it's funny. Some people would take what you're saying there, Alex, and they would take it seriously. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, when you say smoked <laughs> turkey, I figure, you know. Yeah, I yeah. Highly recommend it. I highly, highly recommend it if uh, if you can ever try it. We've done a deep fried one year too, but the smoked well, is just the way to go. I hear the deep fried is the best turkey you will ever have. I've been told that it is succulent. It is crispy. It is just, it's terrific. But you'll kill yourself doing it. <laughs> Although they do have, they do have, you can get them on Amazon now. They have turkey deep fryers that uh, have it made in a way that it's not going to like get to you, you know, it's not going to kill you, but people, people use these things and they put them in and it splashes up and it does things like that. But you get one of these Turkey uh, deep fryers and they are created so that you don't get, uh, get hurt by them. So just a suggestion. We've done it both ways, but we love the, uh, the smoked, that's just, oh, I'm sure. That's I'm oh, sure it's, it's so I'm good. Sure it's, it's so lovely. Good. I'm sure it's lovely. Hello there to Andrew Deutsch. We're going around the panel asking them what they've been doing lately. I didn't get to Paula. Paula? What? What, <laughs> what have you been doing lately? Anything <laughs> exciting? I can't say I have been. I, on Friday, I had an RSV shot, and uh, it knocked me the heck out. Uh, I, we had it, too, and I think we got a little, didn't we get a little? We had it oh, really? also with the flu shot. Yeah, we got the flu shot and the RSV. Did you get the new COVID one? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, got the I'm, new I'm COVID. completely whatever. Yeah, we got the new COVID one, and with that, they gave us the last COVID again. I mean, there's a it's a double shot. Really? Probably the one you got too is a double shot. Uh, yeah. So, you know, 
But then it says, it says something. I read something at, oh, by the way, Rite Aid, where we go to get our shots. Have you heard this, Marjorie? What? Rite Aid filed for bankruptcy. Oh, get out of here. Are you oh, serious? Wow. Yes. That's true. Yeah. Yes. Now, is, are they going out of business or are they going to stay in business? What I don't know. I think they've been on the verge for, for a very long time. I think they went for re reorganization this time. How do you not make money out of a place with a pharmacy? It's something about about uh, breaking the law about the... Um, um, a, a painkillers about the um oh oh they have got in the middle of the oxycontin thing yeah right oh yeah. wow right aid was part of that well i guess they were giving out prescriptions for uh for uh uh you know oxycontin and i it may be something like you know they were honoring doctors who were known to be pill doctors mm. so they got sued and that's where the black, the, uh, I think, I don't think they're going out of business. I think they're doing that to keep themselves from having to pay people a lot of money mm. is what I think that is. But I hope they don't go out of business. That's where we get our, our uh, COVID shot. Mm. You know, now we'll and have to go down. Block to, away. We'll have to go down to CVS. Ugh. Yeah, it says, it says they're selling off certain portions to restructure. Um, while dealing with the losses of the opioid related lawsuits. There you go. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. So it they, has to do with the opioid lawsuits. Yep. Yeah. Declining declining sales and opioid lawsuits, it says. But they've been they that's a pharmacy, a pharmaceutical company's been in controversial situations for years back in the late eighties, early nineties, one of their executives, I, I believe, went to prison. they they've they've had all sorts of legal issues over the years. Why wow. they? Yeah. Well, well, you like going up to them because they're a block up the street, but a block well, down the it. street is CVS. Yeah, but you know who else gives shots? Community Walgreens. Community Wal Walgreens them. does give the shots. Yeah. Oh, Mark, I my shots. I got mine at Walgreens because that's where we've got our uh, uh, our what do you call it? our uh... RX insurance. <laughs> but we're looking for new insurance because he. The RX insurance. Yeah, did I tell you this? I tell you what our insurance is going up to. Mm -mm. Uh, no. I happen to have it here. <laughs> um, okay, so our insurance for for, for a prescription was forty dollars a month, which I don't even use it. I use Costco, and I pay the whatever Costco's price is because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. And if I go with the with the prescription plan uh, at uh, at Walgreens, anyway, it's going up to it was forty dollars a month. Okay, now I don't know. Do I have four? Yeah, I pay, I have forty dollars worth of medicine. Um, guess what? It's going up to it's forty dollars and ninety cents. What do you think it's going up to? Any. 98 dollars 50 no, 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 not that. Much. <laughs> we playing prices right? Do I get to guess? Yeah. <laughs> over. No, over. you went over. You went over. Yeah, we went <laughs> over. We went over. <laughs> I shouldn't be guessing. I'm under. I'm under a gag order from the federal yeah, for, just, for disparaging all of you. I was watching YouTube, and they had a video of the prices right from I can't remember what year, and one of the contestants. Was a young girl named Vanna White. Vanna White, you bet. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I never knew she was, a, and she was a contestant. She wasn't yeah. like you know. That was before she well, started. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. She was pretty then. She mm. was, yeah. She's held up okay. You know. I think so. Yeah, the work <laughs> she's had good work done. Uh, <laughs> no. Ready for this? Forty eight ninety is what we're paying this year. Next year, seventy eight seventy. Almost double. Oh, double. Wow. Yeah. Almost double. The colossal gall of these people. I mean, the prices of drugs haven't gone up, have they? Yes. Well, yeah, I'm sure they have, but not that much. Not that much. And basic, uh, basic crappy health insurance for me and my wife in the private market for yeah. shitty insurance is $1,500 a month. Yeah. A month? A month. 
We have Kaiser. We're seventeen oh. three a month. Ours is five something for both of us. Yeah, we're, yeah. I'm hoping that when we turn sixty five, it's going to go down a bit. <laughs> well, the, the 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 tier this year that we were in, the tier two, uh, was uh, three hundred and fifty dollars deductible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tier two next time will be four hundred and ten dollars. So it's you know I mean it, 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 it this is ridiculous and we're old people you know we should be getting stuff begin with Medicare should cover a hundred percent all of it that's yeah. for starters absolutely yeah. but it doesn't you know no and, uh, we're going to wind up paying a piece maybe like, between everything that every, every insurance we want to like, lay our hands on how much you figure Marjorie about five hundred dollars a month four fifty. Well, right now it's five something for both of us on the plan F. Uh, five hundred for both of us? No, it's three hundred and twenty-five for each of us. I think. Well, it's under six hundred right now. Yeah, but I'm saying that you add all the other stuff like prescription and dental and uh, yeah. oh, all of yeah. that. It's going to be up around five hundred a month per person. Person. Yeah. I would have to die. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to go out and rob a bank. Yes, Charlene. Oh, well, we're, we're, I'm really, really fortunate because my husband worked for Kaiser Permanente and he retired wow. from there. So we don't have to pay anything for our insurance. If we did, I don't know where we would do. We would be living in our car. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. For insurance. Exactly. And already on top of it, I'm paying, <laughs> I think, like $165 a month to Medicare for Medicare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, the thing is, these things should, for for older people, should be, hey, you, you lived a long life, you paid your taxes, you helped our country, you know, you were part of the society. Now let us take care of you. What's it's wrong exactly. with that philosophy? Because now you're at the point where you really need the care. It's going to cost. That's them right, money. and you paid <laughs> into it. Yeah. Yeah. So, Have you seen these, these, I hear it advertised all the time, these supposed Christian insurance companies oh, oh, that are pooled, pooled money, and they advertise that uh, not only do you, you get low-cost insurance, but you also get all the prayers that you need, and they're, <laughs> and they're it's yeah, yeah, market. it's, the, the actual website is something like Bible Care or something like that, dot com, <laughs> and, and they they advertise on all the different, no matter, no matter if you're listening to MSNBC, CNN, Fox, and there, it's a scam. It's it's pooled yeah. money. It's not really insurance. Yeah. And they deny almost all the claims. Wow. What, do you, what do you mean it's pooled but money? It's it's the money. The money all goes into a pool, and out of that, they can pay a certain percent of it. Percentage of it goes out to pay medical bills. But if they run out of money, they don't pay anything. Yeah. John Oliver did a story about it. I don't know three yeah. or four years ago, but. Uh, it's it's the biggest game. Now I'm coming out with a new new health insurance, but it's it's discounted. But you have to agree to used catheters and needles. <laughs> it's how we say it's how we save the money. Even uh, for for I think just a cold, right? Yes, yeah, cold used catheter for a cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right up the ocean, we clean it out. I don't know. But, but I we use Dyson vacuums to get the phlegm out. So I had a catheter in me once, and it made me feel yucky. You know, imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Made me feel very yucky. Uh, just, it's not I, supposed to be in there. <laughs> uh, well, I don't like things going in where things should be coming out. That's my philosophy. <laughs> hey there, Kevin. Hey, Alex, how are you? Yeah. Um, what did you do? Anything interesting this weekend? Uh, sat through two sad football games. Yeah, sad football games. Yeah. Yeah. The Oregon Ducks lost mm -hmm. to their rivals, and so the yeah, Niners lost. Oh, the Niners lost. So it was a kind of a rotten football weekend for me. Were... Marjorie had a good football weekend. Yeah, but this weekend's going to be hell. They're playing Ohio State. Penn State. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Going to be a hard one this weekend. Well, by the, the way, those those turkey cookers are infrared cookie cookers. Cookie tookers, cookie tookers. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Which which the ones for for uh, smoke? The ones for the uh, the non frying 
you know, the ones I use them all the time. I use them every year. The hmm. infrared, they're infrared cookers. And are they, they cook a good turkey? Oh yeah. Yeah. And about the same time as a regular, uh, deep fried turkey. And it tastes just like a deep fried turkey, but you drop it into a, into a kettle. It's a uh, charboil makes them and mm -hmm. it's a kettle. It's basically a steel drum and it heats up the drum, but you don't have the splattering oil and everything. You don't have to deal with the oil and right. all that. Right. And it cooks it really well in about like a 14 pound turkey in about an hour hour and 15 minutes wow really like microwave well, this is the time yeah this, basically it's like i guess that, this but. is the time for us to be talking about tur or talking talk tur turkey talking oh, well <laughs> it's not that are we gonna, are we gonna have anybody over this year marjorie yeah we'll probably do the same group it, the same group oh, okay um but yeah, anyway, uh, I, I visited didn't mean to derail weekend. you, but that's what it was. What? It's ever visited... in New York, come to us. <laughs> I visited my turkey this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> went home Went home for my anniversary and drove out to the Amish farm where the chick is growing and he'll be ready some, sometime around sometime around uh, a week before Thanksgiving so I can bring him home. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You turkey. get to go out and visit him before he's grown up? Uh, yeah, I've I, every year How I How can I get, you eat that? With a fork and a knife? <laughs> but did, easy. did you name you're, it? You're having you're having you have an eating it. disorder? Yeah, you that's the eat worst if you name yeah. it. You don't you don't name it, you just call it a number, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did name them. It's lunch. <laughs> Here lunch. Okay. Yeah. Here lunch. Linner. Linner. Yeah. Linner. Yeah. Wow. I've been doing it, been doing it for years. Same same as all the beef in my freezers. From like every couple of years, I buy a calf and I leave it out at my buddy's farm and they raise it. And the butcher sends me the meat. The best. Do you go yeah. out and buy the the baby turkey? I do. Well, they they buy a bunch of them and I pick which one I want. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And then he grows up and he's a big fat turkey, right? Usually about 32, 34 pounds. Yeah. Oh, how long does that take? It. Yeah, a few hours. And how many hormones? No, no. How long? No hormones. It's out on an Amish farm. I that, know. I was, <laughs> it, the, the hard part is getting the getting them to shave that beard off before I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gets in the food. It's nasty. And that funny little hat he wears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, y y the question is, uh, uh, how long does it take for this baby turkey? I assume this big. Okay. Yeah. Right. A couple of months. Go into a giant turkey that'll give you thirty-four pounds of meat usually usually it's about about three months oh really yeah so you, fast. wow so you There's actually a turkey farm fast. right out right outside of town here and i could drive by them and barely see them over the fence and yeah. all of a sudden a month or two later they're all poking out over the top of the fence oh wow yeah, yeah they're pretty quick see i don't know that much about tur did you know this much about turkey marjorie no did you know you can buy a little chick and then give it to the Amish and they will grow it up for you and then give it oh. back? Do they give it back to you all plucked and killed? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh. When yeah. I lived in Washington, D.C., there was a place you go where they literally killed the turkey or the chicken right in front of you, bled it, took out the feathers, and you went home with a warm package. It was <laughs> Horrible. Yeah, this they 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 do all the cleaning. They've got these machines that run off of an engine that spin around. Yeah, it's got little rubber, you, little rubber nubs in it. And they drop it's it in. The thing warm. flops it all over the place. Do, the you do you remember when Sarah Palin was giving a press yeah. conference at a turkey farm? <laughs> and right in back of her, somebody was sticking a turkey into the thing that chops their head off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, you watch. Remember the old WKRP where they gave away the turkeys out of the helicopter? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Dropping them out. Yeah. Oh, the horror. Yeah, yeah. Turkeys <laughs> don't fly. Is what well, the then there's the, you know, my turkey uh, popcorn stuffing recipe, Alex. You, you put a cup of popcorn in before you stuff it. You put it in the <laughs> oven so that the legs face the back of the oven. And when the, when the popcorn blows out his ass and he lands on the counter, it's time to eat. <laughs> 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 we have a video of that I, I don't know if i want to go to your place for thanksgiving I usually just, about 30 yeah, people you're welcome yeah, yeah, wow. usually, usually 30 people i don't know 30 people i don't either we're lucky if we get seven or eight <laughs> i mean i invite all these people over they've been become good friends of mine uh but they don't live in new york mm -hmm. all over the country and in canada 
Yeah, right. <laughs> they already had their Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? I yes. think. Oh, he just said that. Yeah. <laughs> he always loves to throw that in our face. Boy, we have our Thanksgiving early. <laughs> you know. They don't have calendars up there. I wish we get Christmas out of the way early. Uh-huh. My father used to have a, a, a thing he used to say every year, and it was, Christmas is at our throats again. <laughs> you know, it, what a depressing holiday Christmas is. I mean, if you don't have somebody, I mean, it's got to be just miserable. How about Charlie? Do you go somewhere on Christmas? Not anymore. Do you get depressed about that? Nah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, and of course, we don't celebrate Christmas, so we don't care. But we still get the day off. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Uh, but uh, we, we get two days off in uh, Canada. We get Boxing Day, Christmas, oh, and stop Boxing it. Day. Stop <laughs> stop it. Always got a one up us. Well, and, we get just, and they have Boxing Day. I'm yeah. just celebrating the differences, everybody. That's yeah, all. Bo- but in Canada, that's when day. people go to other people's homes and punch them in the face. Is Boxing <laughs> Day? So they have Boxing Day every day at the Amazon warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every day. Well, Boxing Day is what? What do you do on Boxing Day? Well, I think the tradition goes back to like England when uh, servants and the main people would switch places. I think that's where the original, where it originated. But for us here, you know how you guys have Black Friday? We'd have it now too, but up in Canada for years and years and years, Boxing Day was the day that all the stores discounted everything and people would stay overnight uh, in lineup uh, from Christmas night to Boxing Day to go to electronic stores and things like that for the Boxing Day sales. That was a that was a huge well, thing that's in Canada. Kind of, for that's kind of years. like kind of like your Black Friday. It yeah. was, it, yeah. And then we sort of adopted Black Friday as well. So we kind of do both. Oh, of you, them. Know, you, you but, would adopt our traditions, and then you also have your own that you then throw back in our face. I think you'll find that is the Canadian experience, Alex. Absolutely. Yeah. And and uh, that is the part where you are like overly apologetic. Is that it? <laughs> are you apologetic for these holidays? I'm uh, unabashed. Yes. The only one that we're apologetic for is the uh, is the one where we feel bad towards the uh, the indigenous, the truth and reconciliation day that we just added. Oh, that's a that's a that's an apology day. Well, our uh, what is it? Our Columbus Day is now Indigenous Peoples Day in some states. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I imagine, like in uh, Georgia, isn't it just called Injun Day? Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't. Uh, and, and that's when we, the podcast was unmonetized. Hold on a second. <laughs> yes. Uh, what were you saying? me yeah i just said and you know last monday i did i was off for yeah. whatever reason I have it off here i don't know you know why i think it all kind of started because people have it off for their kids school like we have it coincides with fall break yeah and they just give you the day off so well, i didn't realize that columbus day was a national holiday i know it was a holiday in san francisco because a very big italian population you know so Anyway, uh, oh, guess what I'm doing tomorrow? This is going to be fun. I'm having my tooth pulled. Oh. Yeah. Why? Huh? What's Why? wrong with it? <laughs> well, they say I have an abscess in the tooth, hmm. but I can't feel it. Tooth's a little, I can feel a little bit, but it doesn't hurt or anything, you know? They've been trying to get, they've been trying to get me to pull my wisdom teeth for forty years, and I keep telling them to go pound sand because they're fine. I mean, they, I don't need them pull; they're fine. I did. I kept them until I needed to get rid of them. Yeah. My daughter just found out her one of hers grew in, and she was freaking out. What one of her <laughs> what? Well, because my older daughter had hers taken out when she was eighteen. Well, then. My younger daughter just didn't want to do it, and her teeth were perfect. So I said, "Don't worry about it." And now one of them has grown in. But the dentist said it looks like it's not messing anything up. 
And if it, yeah, if, the only thing is the reason why they get rid of them, they had to get rid of mine eventually, was they're, they are not as strong as other teeth and they have a tendency to go bad really easily. And, and yeah. with a lot of people, the jaw isn't big enough. Right. But yeah. if it does, I, it, I mean, my, mine grew in just fine. You All know, they of mine they came were, in sideways. I had to get mine the came in just fine, but yeah. they started rotting because they, they don't have the same kind of strength that other it's hard teeth. to clean that far back. I get it. You know, well, it has <laughs> nothing to do with cleaning that far back. It has to do with the fact that they're just what can I? Uh, what's the term I could use? They're 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 just they're teeth that are fragile, very mm -hmm. fragile. They have right. like I'm oh, taking mine to the grave. That's it. Nobody's touching my freaking teeth. <laughs> what what did you say um do they have like low enamel on them like maybe not enough yeah. enamel it's not enough enamel it's just they're they're very they're easily they they to begin with they can get cavities very easily mm -hmm. right yeah and so they're just teeth that are just pests is what they are and so you know they if you get rid of them you get rid of them what the hell that's why I go to a dentist that doesn't have a boat payment because he keeps talking to me. So. <laughs> yeah, well, they, 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 they went, when I had this thing the other day, she looked at the tooth. I said, you know, it's a little, little it's a little tender, not, it doesn't hurt, you know? And I said, it, uh, it's loose, getting loose. And she said, well, we, we uh, she looked at it and she says, oh no, that's got an abscess. And I can even see the, uh, should we say pus coming out? Yeah, so that's enough. And and so we're gonna have to pull that and give you a uh, an implant. And I'm thinking, how huh, doesn't she have a yacht already? You know. <laughs> um. So they're gonna. That's what they're gonna do. You know. I don't know if it's necessary, or unnecessary. All I know is I don't have any pain. You know. Well, I was surprised hmm? when Dennis told her is in New York. She said, you don't need to get it out. It's not causing any problems. And then she even said that the ones that were impacted or, you know, still not grown in, she would not say you should get them out because they were really close to nerves. But I was like, wow, an honest dentist, like one that's not just trying to upsell her to get her wisdom teeth out. Because yeah. I really do that. Well, I went in for one. I went in for a clean. Should cleaning cost $850? Jesus. No. no. That's what they charge my insurance company. Wow. Maybe the insurance company says, uh-uh, this is what it's going to cost. Well, charge them, it doesn't mean that's what they're going to get. That's what happens, Alex. Right. Yeah, because I don't, I, you know. They say takes, this is the allowable cost, and that's it. Well, I uh, dental insurance is a fraud anyway. You know, I've got $1,500 in my pocket. I can just, I got $1,500 in, in $100 bills I've saved, okay? Yeah. I, you know, uh, it's, it, 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 you pay insurance every month, and then you get $1,500 at best over the whole year? Yeah. Well, I, I don't get it anymore. I joined their little discount program. Discount it's, program? What? Yeah. Like my dentist has like, like it's some kind of discount program and you pay like 50 bucks a year and then you just get discounts on all your services. Oh, okay. All right. You know. well, and what, what dental insurance does is it forces them to not charge you the full amount. You got charged 800 bucks. If I was a consumer went in there, they charge me that and I couldn't, I couldn't argue that price yeah. but because they're with the insurance company. They'll get what the insurance says. So you're basically paying to get a discount for the insurance for your, your service. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yes. It's just like a medical office. If you've if you've got medical insurance and the and your plan pays forty dollars for an office visit, he gets forty bucks. If you go as a private person and try to get forty bucks for a visit, no, no, it's two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's a penalty to not have insurance because the they they can't they they charge this ridiculous amount to people who don't have it because they can get it. Everybody else gets a deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um it's another reason why Universal would make more sense. Yeah. Let's see. I have Mike Chisholm. Oh, there he is. Okay. There's Mike Chisholm. He changed. Where what goes happened? Mike Chisholm? Yeah, he got Mike back home or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, he got back home and then he turned on something else. And we lost him. And he we lost him. He he'll be back. Uh, 
Yeah. Well, you know, I just, uh, I remember when going to the dentist was the cheapest thing you could do. I remember when it was fun. <laughs> I don't remember well, that. It was never fun going to the oh, dentist. Oh, come on, the laughing gas and this. Oh, the gas. But that That's, you know, I said to her, I said, you're going to pull my tooth. Do you have gas? And she says, we, we, don't, we don't do gas. <laughs> We'd like you to feel every bit of pain you're going to feel. Yeah. There was nothing better. I've had teeth pulled on gas. I've had teeth of uh, root canals on gas. You don't care how long it takes. You're enjoying the high, you know? And so, and I would say that if I were a dentist, I'd want to put my patient on, under gas because they're much more pliable because you're lying yeah. in this days. And then he says, open your mouth wider and you go, you know, you 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 do anything they tell you to do, and it's it's much easier. You did gas, right, Marjorie? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No place has it now. Uh, I went to a dentist years and years ago. You had the gas, and they gave you the shot, and then he gave you earphones to listen to music. <laughs> well, great. also, also, I um, I used to do the gas, uh, and um for having my teeth cleaned. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Because I could. <laughs> <laughs> the gas was terrific. It was just it terrific. Was. I remember my brother and sister talking that up. And so I was like 12 years old, finally needed to haggis, had a cavity. I said, yeah, I want the laughing gas, you know, and they put it on me and I about passed out and got sick. Well, you, you really? tell them, you, I, I always tell them to lower it or raise it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I did not like it. Well, if it's too, they gave you too much. And also you were a little kid at the time. So you probably, right. your body in proportion to the amount of gas they were giving you is a problem. Oh yeah. If yeah. I anybody, never got it, no way. Anybody else here do gas? Yeah. yeah. After 18. Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. It's always fun. They have gas up in Canada, but they do it on another day than we do. It. <laughs> it's and it's maple. It's maple scented. It's I hated maple, to say it's that. maple scented. I feel like <laughs> what? They, they, I feel like you have to go to one of those special dentists. They, they call themselves sedation dentistry places. Oh really? Oh, never heard of that. Oh, well, those are the ones with the propofol. Thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> and then they give you the shot yeah yeah no i think you know i mean i would think that if i were a dentist i would like to have my person on gas they're far more pliable they're far more acquiescent to to yeah. orders and what you ask them to do and uh, uh i just you know but oh well you know i don't ha i haven't had a dentist lately who <laughs> or if they have it they now charge you 150 bucks for it or something like that mm -hmm. But then it's well even good. Oral yeah. surgeons put people in twilight sleep all the time for yeah. know, wisdom teeth and stuff. It is propofol. I wasn't kidding when I said it. Oh well, it, yeah. But I don't know. I've had some. The trouble with uh, having uh, what do you call it, root canals isn't the pain involved. It's just boring. It yeah. takes, for it takes forever. And so it takes if you're, forever. If you're on gas. Time passes by like that. Mm. You know, there's no sense of time. And it's terrific. It's really great. Uh, you have gas up in Canada, don't you? Uh... <laughs> we do have it. I just didn't want to take part in this conversation because it would make it seem like I was bragging. I've never had a cavity and all my wisdom teeth are in. So I don't know what it feels like to yeah. can mute, I say mute, mute him, I, Alex. And I say this in all respect. You can go to hell. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> Mute that bastard. <laughs> I know. Is it, is, do you brush your teeth? Is that it? Are you a? a I do, a, but I, brusher? my my brother and my sister just absolutely are. They they don't understand. They're beside themselves with me because I do. I brush my teeth every day, but I certainly don't floss nearly as much as I'm supposed to, and and all of that. It's just good genes, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't people. have a cavity till I was twenty. Uh, but yeah. then once they started, they kept coming. Yeah. You know, my wife is the same way. She doesn't have any. Really? More important than brushing. Like if you had to choose between the two, you should floss. Which yes. 
But you know what my dentist said? You don't shouldn't, you shouldn't use the floss like floss floss. What they have these little things that are like brush and grip with bristles. Oh, the um, little that, oh the proctor those, brushes. Yeah, and, <laughs> no, not those. Those those I use too because they're oh. easy, right? Oh, but, yeah. But, but that she said that these things with the br brush on them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are better for you because they get all the stuff out between the teeth. The floss mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily do that. Sometimes it just moves it around. Yeah. So he said she said, use that. And she also My, said if your right hand uh, and dental and do the water pick after. Yeah, water mm -hmm. pick, or I do I do Listerine. I like swirling Listerine through my mouth and getting rid of all the extra stuff. But uh what she said was do you know where the worst part is in your mouth that you probably get you get the most plaque because you do the least brushing? Tongue. If you're right-handed, it's here. Wow. Wow. If you're left-handed, it's over here. Yeah. Wow. I don't know why she says, but she says I clean people's teeth. I ask them right-handed or left-handed, and they say I'm right-handed. And sure enough, it's that part of their mouth that had the most plaque. Yeah. You know. But I suppose you don't have any plaque, Mike. <laughs> I'm coated with plaque. You'll be happy to know. Really? You got to get oh. the industrial scraper out when I go to the dentist. That's oh, how okay. much plaque there is. Yeah. Good. And then they go, but here's good report. No cap. I want to hear when you get your first cavity. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then we can all go neener, neener. By the way, I saw you on uh, that uh, that birthday, that going away party for Rupert G that you went to. Yeah, I just saw you standing there in the front row trying to get camera time. <laughs> uh, and well, and they, I, he spoke. He spoke. He said something at the beginning. Yeah, they uh, they they included my entire speech in there. I was shocked by that, and and very very grateful for it. Oh, I didn't see that part of it. I just I kind of rushed through it. And then uh, what's his name? Um, 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 David. What? Rupert? Rupert? Well, David started it off. Not Let David. Start I'm it talking off. about our Bye friend Gilmer. who does all the videos. Uh, Ge Bye, Geller. Oh, Geller. Walter Kim. Geller. Yeah. Walter Kim. Yeah, uh, no, Geller. Oh, Geller, Geller was there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they highlighted he was Don there wearing, he was there with a mask. Yeah. Right? Uh. But he wasn't wearing it. He was just was down here. Well, he was wearing it for most of the night, but for some of the pictures, he 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 took it down. Oh. Um, they started the night with uh, the, the the Colbert people giving Rupert and, and and May something, and then they had a trivia contest. And Walter was and very Rupert very G, clear. In case people don't know, anybody know who we're talking about? No. Yes. It's the retirement party for Rupert G, the deli owner, uh, the owner of the Hello Deli, which, which is they use. He was he he was on the show something like four hundred and forty five times. Something. There you go. Yeah. 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 10% of Late Show with David Letterman featured Rupert, which is pretty crazy. Featured Rupert, yeah. Yeah. So his retirement well, party, he sold the deli and and uh, the Worldwide Pants people put on a, a retirement party for him in the lobby of the Ed Sullivan Theater. And there was a trivia contest in which uh, Don was explicitly said, you know what, you can't answer the questions. And they just threw him a t-shirt because he would get them all, um, <laughs> which was funny. Oh, they, and, didn't uh, enjoy, they didn't let him join the uh, the trivia contest. No, they just gave him a T-shirt and said, here you go. It was a lot of fun. And then uh, a few other people spoke. Kathy Mavrakakis spoke. Tommy Rupert spoke. And uh, and they gave me some time. They gave me some time to speak as well, which is a, a, a tremendous honor. It was really mm -hmm. cool to be there for that evening. Yeah. Well, uh, it, looked like a, it looked like a nice time. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they didn't let you have the theater to do it in, but you know. Well, it was funny. Like we we were walking in the theater. Like they, they it, it was neat to see some of the staffers because some of them have not been in the Ed Sullivan Theater since the last show. Like right. literally, that some of them were really like. Uh, there was a lot of emotion flowing through um, that place that evening, and we did go into the theater itself, like to check it out, to look and whatnot. But the theater stage was. Everything was it was it was all uh, locked up and and whatnot. It wouldn't have been a good venue. The, the the foyer was actually a really good venue for it. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, it was nice. If people yeah. want to watch it, it's on uh, YouTube. You bet. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, are you leaving, Andy? I am. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was going to say bye. 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 What was, they say? I was going to say bye, and then I just Georgia, changed. Say bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs> sorry. I can listen to Mandy all day. Oh, 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 and mine's not even as bad as some people's. Oh no, your accent is it's lovely, somewhat moderate, but enough that it's lilting. Yeah, <laughs> is that the best way to put it? Okay, That's I can't so understand, understand her. You, <laughs> you know, what we'll do next time. We'll run subtitles under her. Yeah, translator. <laughs> translator. Yeah. Oh, I saw a meme that said, I'm sorry, I can't hear without subtitles. Like when she's leaving, <laughs> well, the screen will say B-A-H. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay. We all have a good evening. Well, goodbye to you. Good and, uh, Bye. Bye, Mandy. Trip home. Okay. Bye. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. See you next week. Okay. Bye. Absolutely. Bye. <laughs> ah. Everybody say bye. Sounds like a she. Bye. 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 Yeah. Anyway. So I'm so glad you had a chance to meet her, Alex. She's a she's a very nice lady. Oh, she's a very nice lady. Yeah. yeah. No, I thought the world of her. I just yeah. felt bad because um what what accident did I have when she was here and I was in pain <laughs> or something? I don't know. I'm trying to remember what was, what was my what was well, my that, that when you hurt your knee, was it? Yes, when yeah, I hurt your knee. Yeah. Oh well that's why we couldn't go out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh uh I think didn't I get the shot a day, a couple of days later, and I took care of it. Yeah. But uh, I felt sorry about that because we were looking forward to her being here and taking her out to some place to eat and things like that, you know. And and so we uh, we ordered out. You know, and what did you order, Marjorie? You should you should have gotten typical Jew food. <laughs> she might not have liked that. I ordered from Zaybars. I ordered sandwiches. Yeah, but you ordered from Zaybars, and they're known for their lox and bagels and things like that. Um, I mean, who here wouldn't like lox and bagels? Anybody? I love but lox. Lox yeah. is salmon. You don't like salmon, uh, Charlene? No, but I'll no, eat I love long you what I'll eat the bagel all day long oh okay <laughs> Don't give me the, well, we could put the, the cream box. we could put the cream cheese on there yep. yeah i'll and eat that we, all what day else could we put on the bagel that isn't lox hey i'll tell Cheaper. you okay. white fish you could put white fish a uh, chopped chicken go. liver chopped chicken herring, liver. herring herring oh, that sounds good apparently charlene isn't jewish no mm -mm. <laughs> but i'll eat the bagel but you'll eat yeah, the bagel. New York bagels. Candy and I, when we were down, uh, just were reminded how amazing they are just anywhere. But then we went to the Chelsea Market and there was a there was a a, a fancy bagel place there. She got a salt bagel with uh, um, uh, uh, honey, a hot honey cream cheese. And it was mm. the greatest bagel I've ever had in my life. That was it. We mm. kept trying to chase the dragon the rest of the trip, <laughs> trying to re replicate it. It just... New York bagels are the best, but the one that one at the Chelsea well, Market. I'll tell was you when they were incredible. the worst. Um, uh, there was a place here in New York years ago. You remember Bagel Nosh, Marjorie? No. It was a place where you go and you get a bagel. You have them put, you know, all the stuff on top of it and so on. But they were all Asian people serving you. Mm. And somehow it didn't feel like the bagels were that good because there were nothing but, you know, Asian people who had made the bagels and were now serving them to you. Well, that's because they were they were too polite, the Asians. You had to have somebody, you know, like a, a waiter saying, you don't want that. You, you want this, right? <laughs> yeah, well, Alex, the difference, the difference between karate and judo is karate is how you defend yourself and judo is what you make bagels out of. <laughs> oh boy you're right you're you're absolutely correct but no but i you're, uh, you're on a roll andrew pardon you're on, you're on a roll there was a place no it's not a roll it's a bagel there's yeah. a bagel in the place here in new york that probably supplied most of the people in new york no h and h bagels that's what i'm saying I'm about to, we got to finish, right but I was you wouldn't allow me to finish what I was saying. I was gonna say this is a place called H and H Bagels. 
Uh, and if you want to know what H and H bagels is, just watch the uh, um, uh, a Festivus episode of Seinfeld, <laughs> because that's where he supposedly, uh, what's his name, Kramer works or worked or was on oh, strike. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's H and H bagels, but they make made most of the bagels for the for everywhere here in for everyone. Yeah, for yeah. every restaurant. Every every delicatessen, every uh, anyway, I would go there when I got off the air at six o'clock in the morning when they first opened up, and they had just made them and they were hot. Mm -hmm. Have you ever eaten a hot bagel, Marjorie? Yes. Yep. And they've just come out fresh. Man, they are the that's the best because what you do is you eat it and then it expands in your stomach. <laughs> You know, amazing, just amazing. And they say that the bagels are good in New York. Why, Marjorie? Oh, what what happened to what happened to James? Jim? It would be the, it's, it? it's just there oh, he is. There he is. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, and in fact, I'll tell him. Do you know, Jim, why the uh, why the bagels are so good in New York? We've been told it's because of the water. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. it's absolutely. Pizza and the bagels. Uh, that's why they're by far, by far the best. Yeah, well, they're water bagels. They're literally boiled. Paul and I grew up with egg bagels. I mean, that's oh, what yeah. they had in Philadelphia. But they, they never compare. They never compared to New York bagels. Never. They were they totally still, different. But they still made them the same way, right? No. no. <laughs> they, they, boil were in, they boil in water, right? I don't know. They just didn't taste as good as New York bagels. I don't know what yeah. they. Well, it's the water. It's the water. There's nothing more than stale, horrible water. <laughs> yeah. Pizza too. Pizza in New York. There, nothing. Nothing touches it. Yeah. Really? You. Got, you really must the be best. deprived up there in Canada. Hey, we got some good pizza joints here all over the place, and I mean, I'm sure Chicago pizza is good, and I'm sure, but there's just something about New York pizza. There is just, and 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 from what everything I've heard, it's it's the water. New Haven, Connecticut is the best. Pizza. I remember for pizza when I was working at a radio station in San Francisco, the first one, which is KMEL. And we were in this building and it looked over a parking lot. And this guy comes up to the studio and says, uh, I'd like to introduce you to some stuff here. We have a new place and it's called Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater. <laughs> And I said, oh, and he said, if you look down in the, in the, in the, in the uh, parking lot, there's Chuck E. Cheese. And there's <laughs> this guy in like a rat outfit. Yeah. Right. And I said, is Chuck E. Cheese a mouse? And they said, no, Chuck E. Cheese is a rat. Yeah. And I went, you've got a place that serves food. And the logo and the 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 uh, what do you call it the uh, mascot mascot for the <laughs> is a rat, and he went yeah. I said, boy, you guys are in trouble. Well, I was wrong. Yeah, <laughs> everybody loved the rat with the cigar. I Me mean, smoked too, which was worse. Who? There's a documentary about the history. The original Chuck E. Cheese was not for children. Well, you know, yeah. what's his name? The guy who started Atari started Chuck E. Cheese, mm -hmm. I believe. If I'm not mistaken. I think so. Huh? I don't they didn't mention it in the documentary about it, but it was the the whole the whole suit and everything was a mistake. They ordered something from a costume place and they got the rat and <laughs> it's, it was all a, it was all a coincidence at the beginning. Well, it was supposed to be an adult, an adult place. <laughs> Us as parents called it Chuck E. Disease. <laughs> wait a minute, wait all those a minute. all those all those balls you know all the kids in their oh, snot yeah. all over the balls and everything else oh, they man. come home sick for a week yeah no, but Chuck e. disease. I, don't, I, I don't get this it wasn't for kids i mean so the original chucky e. cheese was not a kid's thing it became a kid's thing later why would you call it like chucky e. cheese it was supposed to be this wise cracking like a mafia rat was the the joke at the beginning uh, i could see and that. It, it morphed into something else later Oh boy, that's even. My kids worse. loved it. They always I mean, had that for birthday parties there. Yeah, that, that was Nolan the, Bushnell. Is it American the animatronics thing that. came later? Yeah, yeah. they had that nasty cardboard pizza, but they had beer. So it, 
<laughs> after yeah, the third pitcher, parents, it all yeah. tasted good. <laughs> wow. wow. Parents all got drunk and kids yeah. all drank pizza and got their tickets. Yeah, that, was, that was a good, uh, was a good, uh, okay. A horrible Nolan idea. Bush, I'll tell you the guy, the most horrible idea I told somebody, and I was right on this one is uh, uh, I had to, I was involved in getting people to turn out to be extras for a movie. And we go in to do this after my show one day, and we got like four or 500 people to show up to be in the movie. And uh, uh, the movie it is about this main character. It was produced by George Lucas. You figured, what could go wrong? You know, Howard the Howard Duck. Howard the Duck, right? Howard on. the Duck. Howard the Duck. <laughs> it was Howard the Duck, and <laughs> I'm I'm sitting there next to the guys doing help me get all these people over there <clears throat> from Lucas, and uh, they come out, and it's this guy in a duck outfit, and I said, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to replace that guy <laughs> yeah. with an animated duck, right? Last said, night. Oh no, that's the duck. And I looked back at him and I said, You're in trouble. <laughs> and they were. I think that film lasted in the theater about three days. Yep. Anyway, hey, we've run out of time. Wow. We were just just when we were having fun. God, this could go forever. Uh, yeah. uh I'm sure you people have other things to do, don't you? Oh, I don't. <laughs> we don't marjorie we don't. Don't. paula doesn't you don't have anything to do do you Ch charlie uh not until uh 7 30 central time tonight and what are you doing that's the dallas cowboys playing oh. the la uh, Chargers. Ah, i see mm. and of course uh uh well anyway let me thank marjorie for being here to begin with and charlene for being here and you know who isn't here because he told us he wouldn't be here. Is, well, uh, right. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he's not right. here. That's Who's right. Edward? Edward. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> what else should we all should we all say it in unison? Well, at oh, the yeah. end of the thing, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll say it in unison. He'll be back again next week. Okay. Uh, but uh Charlene Solis, always good to have you here. Uh, lovely and attractive Len LaFrisco, who always looks like he has a sunburn. I don't know why. It's, it's this camera. I'm going to use a different camera next so week. No, it. keep using it. I like it. <laughs> it. It takes care of the minority factor. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good to have an American Indian on the program. <laughs> Uh, also, thank, thanks to Charlie Wallace and Paul Eleven. Jeez, oh, you know, why is it your living room looks like you're in Ohio? I don't, I don't know, know why. To, they, I don't know how to take that. Is that a good thing? <laughs> no, it's a good thing. But the sun coming in through the windows and everything, it looks like I don't know. Some because I used to live in Ohio for a short time. So wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks to uh, our good friend, uh, Andrew Deutsch, and to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin, for being here. And Brian Neary, thank you for taking us everywhere, home to the yeah. kitchen. Now, where are you? Where you, are you, Brian? He's got his... Thing oh, on. Oh, oh, I oh, it up, baby. Okay. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. There she is. That's that's the princess, yeah. And uh, uh, finally, uh, thanks to uh, Mike Chisholm up there in love, guys in Canada. Who they uh, every other week they have Thanksgiving up there. That's right. Really, really <laughs> interesting. Everybody, give a bit. Oh, now we're going to sign off <laughs> with the group saying. That's, that's all. all. That's, all. that's all, folks. That's all, folks. <laughs> He'll be here back next week. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>